大家好，我是 All of Branch 的 Alan。So from my last video, I did mention that I'm going to show you guys some simple exercises that you can do that can help benefit you in terms of your health and growing muscles. The main concept that you want to think about when you're designing a very simple workout for yourself is to just focus on a push, a pull, and something for your lower body. It seems very, very basic, and that's because it is. When you're pushing, you are using a compound movement. In other words, it's a multi-joint exercise, meaning there's going to be some elbow movement and there's going to be some shoulder movement. Okay, and so when you're using the shoulders, you're going to be using your chest muscles, and when you're bending your elbows, you're going to be using your upper arm muscles. Okay, and when you're pulling again, you're going to be using the opposite upper arm muscle. Mostly your biceps, and you're going to be using your upper back muscles, mainly your lats and your traps. So when you're doing that, that will comprise most of your upper body muscles, and your core it will still be activated a lot as long as you're doing the exercises with proper form. Your core will always be bracing, and otherwise it will be tense, and it'll be stable for you to be pushing or pulling whatever it is. So for example, any pushing exercise could, and most likely at home would be a push up. So you want to make sure you have really good form when doing a push up, but doing a proper push up is essentially all you need to do. In fact, there was actually a lot of studies show that being able to do forty push ups for an adult men can seriously reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. And if you can't do ten, that really increases your risk of cardiovascular disease. Any pulling exercise would be、uh, difficult without equipment. Uh, for example, a pull-up bar would be the most simple because you can just grab the bar and start pulling your body weight up. But that's very difficult for most, and most people don't have a pull-up bar. Then what you can also do is you can grab a towel and you can just roll it up and to a nice tight,、um, thin rope like, and wrap it around your feet, and then you can keep your back straight and just pull on the towel as hard as you can, as if you're trying to rip the towel. Uh, through with your feet pushing forward, and by doing that, you're doing a pulling motion. You're going to work the back muscles. If you can do that for again around a one minute full intensity, as hard as you can, nonstop, that would be a very effective way of training the back muscles with a very minimal use of equipment. When we're talking about the lower body, we, we want to want to do another compound movement. So essentially, any hip hinging and knee flexing extending. Which basically means any squatting or lunging motion that you do will incorporate all the major muscle groups in the lower body, and so if you can, if you know how to do a squat properly, I would I do recommend doing squat. And if your body is conditioned enough to do jumps, you can do something as simple as squat jumps or mini squat jumps, where you stay very low, your back is straight, and you just keep jumping and jumping until the legs start to burn. Or you can do a simple something as simple as a wall squat, where you're sitting up against the wall. Your thighs are at right angles to the ground and to your lower legs, so it forms a right angle. And by holding that for at least a minute and a half to two minutes, you can actually get your legs to be quite strong. If anything, you can even hold on more weight to provide more resistance. I would like to say, however, that if you do have access to a gym, then all of these、uh, big three exercises, which is just pushing and pulling and lower body, can be done much more effectively with weights. With any weighted dumbbells or barbells,、uh, you can do the same movements、uh, with a little bit more technique. You can do it properly, and again, that's why I would recommend finding a good trainer to show you how that's done. And so, most people they probably are finding that it's very difficult to make any progress with their exercise routine, and that really comes down to a couple things: a, either their exercise routine is just not safe, and they're just getting injured all the time, thereby they have to stop exercise. Um, so the design of the workout or the choice of exercise is probably not great. And two, they're just not training intensely enough. Remember from my last video, it's the stimulation that causes adaptation, and that stimulation is an intense workout. So you have to be really hard in trying to push the muscles to failure before it receives the signal that it needs to get stronger and build. Lastly, guys, is to make your workouts progressive, meaning track your workouts so that You know what you did last time, and so this time you train, you make it better. You have to do more, or you have to go heavier. Okay, I do want to stress the safety component is that you want to go slowly. When you're doing strength training, you should it should be done slowly, so that you reduces the risk of injury to the joints. Okay, go slowly, and when you feel comfortable about the movement, then you apply more and more force. Lastly, all the exercises I mentioned actually can be done 
in the comfort of your own home if you don't want to leave your home. Um, or if you're under quarantine, or if you're in a hotel with no gym, then these exercises, because they're so simple, it can be done anywhere, which makes it extremely convenient, and why you never really need to have any equipment or access to a gym. So that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. And like always, please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.